YouTube, it's Emma Gardner, and today I'm going to be continuing the seed saving series that I had done a couple videos on, and today I'm going to be doing an episode on how to save lettuce seeds. It's really simple, it's really easy, and it's also going to help you guys out to grow some more food when your stuff goes to seed. Now, now you don't have to harvest everything. I only let a couple plants go to seed, and, and I'll get more seed than I know what to do with. So really, it's not actually that bad of a deal once you consider the fact that a packet of seeds costs about anywhere from you know, one to two dollars and you'll get about 25 seeds and from one plant you'll get about anywhere from 100 to 200 seeds depending on how healthy it is. So I'm gonna show you that and I'm gonna show you guys how to save the seeds. It's extremely simple and I think you guys will like it. So stay tuned, I'll bring you guys in close. All right, so here in this shot right here you'll see some seed pods that haven't yet opened up yet they're uh you know they're not totally mature yet and they've just begun to open up as a flower and see it's a, a beautiful yellow flower and they'll grow in these clumps a lot like a christmas tree almost and it has just different little branches but it's all one big flower head and there's several that are just now opening up but if you look over here, I'll show you really quick some that are already opened. Now when you're saving lettuce seeds, it's important to know that um, you need to find the ones that are as dry as possible. They need to be brittle and they need to uh, and they need to be absolutely dry because if they're not dry, they're not yet mature and they're gonna rot. It means they still have moisture in them. You're gonna look for, I'll bring you guys in close, but you're gonna look for the seed pods that have the white fluff, almost like a dandelion top and that's when you know they're really really perfect and the seed pod itself will be crusty and hard and I'll show you that guy I'll show you guys that in a close up so as you can see here this uh the seed pod is fully mature and as you can tell by the um by the way it's nice and fluffy you can tell that it's ready to be harvested and any minute now the seeds are just going to come blowing out of here and that's how they disperse their seeds is by the little feathers the wind catches them and disperses them uh, via the wind so I'm going to actually show you how to harvest them now and it's really quite simple alright so as you can see in this shot there are several branches that are fully fully mature and I'm just going to take a ziploc bag and it's going to be really really easy to demonstrate this all you do is take the bottom of the seed pod the ones that are mature and ready to go and just put, put the whole seed pod in. As you can see, they will come off in a ball like this. See there's the stem. Take that whole thing and just remove just that little ball. That holds all the seeds and I'll show you what you're going to do next after you get all those. Another quick tip that I just realized as I was as I was harvesting these seed heads is if you go to pull the the flower head off and it comes off cleanly, then you know it's ready. But as I'm pulling these, some of these are uh, coming off with the stem, and when they come off with the stem, they'll release a little milky substance, almost like you would if you uh, broke like a dandelion, and it's rather sticky. Um, if you get if you get one that comes off like this one just did where you get that stem, that means it's not ready. The seed head, the seed head should remove very cleanly and just break away without any of this extra stem. So this one, the seeds aren't gonna be fully mature. However, I'm gonna keep them just because I don't think it's gonna matter that very much. But if you want the best and most mature seed heads as possible, I just harvested one and as you can see, it came off just the seed head itself. And that's what you would probably prefer. I'm going to show you guys how to save all the seeds out of the seed pods now. So once you have your seeds in your in your Ziploc baggie, you're going to just uh, obviously you're going to want to secure that, but you're just going to take your fingers and just just crush and just roll it between your fingers or take your whole hand and just crush it all up. And all this is doing is breaking the seed from the seed pod. 
Anything, anything that's left over after this process is going to be either the seed or it's going to be um, bits, of, uh, bits of the actual plant which you don't want. And I'll show you guys how to refine it once you pass this step and you think you've crushed all the seed pot heads, I'll show you how to refine just the seeds from all the other shaft and the and the um, and the actual stems and stuff that you don't want. So I'll show you that step now. All right. So as you can see, I've just simply taken my seeds out of the bag and I poured them on a black plate, and this makes it really easy for you to see. But any you know any plate will really work um, as long as it's somewhat a flexible plate. I chose paper. Plastic will also work. Um, now we're going to try a technique that the ancient Indians um, actually used with uh, rice and is still actually practiced today. And you simply will either go on a windy day or use your breath and you're going to tap the plate and vibrate all the, uh, all the kernels. So you see how, they're, see how the, the seeds are bouncing? Well that's going to separate somewhat by weight, but you can also go on a windy day or blow ever so lightly. You don't need to blow up candles on a birthday cake. Just imagine you're just caressing the seeds with your breath. And any infertile seeds that uh, would never sprout anyways are going to blow away. Any, um, any uh, little seed coatings that were remaining or any, uh, any of the fuzz that was left is going to, um, is going to uh, also blow away. And as you can see, you're left with almost, probably about 98% pure lettuce seed that you can sprout next year, or for a fall crop, you can sprout in the fall. And this seed is ready to be used right now. It's not, uh, there's no seed inhibitor or a sprout inhibitor on it. And uh, it's ready to go as is. And this is gonna be an heirloom variety, obviously. You need to make sure that it is heirloom in order to save the seeds. But as long as it's heirloom, and you follow these steps, you should have tons and tons of seed to use. Like I said, this was from one plant. One plant I got all this seed from, and this is about five times more than you get in your average packet. There's probably a good, at least 600, 700 seeds just here. Um, and uh, and I, I didn't even harvest all of, the, all of the flowers, all the seeds. So, like I said, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this method. It's a really, really simple method. And uh, it's a great way to save money on your seeds and also to continue uh, the heirloom, the heirloom uh, strain that you grew previously. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And as always, this is on my gardener reminding you to grow big or go home. Catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.